Hi, this is Cindy Houston, and I'm going to share with you the five element stretches. So what are the five element stretches good for? They stretch our meridians. Well, what are the meridians? They are energetic lines that run through the body. They're paired with the seasons, they're paired with our emotions, they're paired with organs. And the first element is the metal. And the metal is linked to our lung and large intestine. So our lungs are said to be the organ that houses our chi, that holds all of our energy. So when we have a shallow breath, sometimes we're feeling depleted in energy. And when our breath is full, we usually have more vitality and energy. So we want to open those lungs. And the large intestine is our ability to let things go. It's our digestion, how we process things. So I'd like to share that stretch with you now. So to start, you're going to hook your thumbs just like this, extend your index fingers to the floor, and curl your last three fingers on each hand towards the center of your palm. So I'm going to rotate to the side to show you where my arms are going to go. You're going to hook those thumbs in that same position behind the back. I'm going to show three variations. Please go to the variation that feels best for you, where it doesn't feel like struggle, and that you can still breathe comfortably. So variation one is to extend the index fingers down to the floor and open the chest. If you're a little more flexible, bend your knees and start to bring those arms up overhead, supporting the lower back. If you have lower back pain, the first and the second are your options. Option number three, straighten the legs. Whatever variation you're in, we're gonna stay here for five breaths. So breathing here, one, Two, three, four, five. On your inhale, reach through your index fingers, lift your chest up, and exhale, chin to center. So we're going to switch whichever hand was in front and repeat for the other side. Variation one, lift your chest, index fingers down. Variation two, bend your knees, bring your arms overhead. Variation three, stretch the legs and we stay here five more breaths. Breathing one, two, three, four, five. On the inhale, lift your chest up, reach through your index fingers, and exhale, chin to center. And that is the metal stretch to stretch the lung and large intestine. Enjoy the stretch. Hi, this is Cindy again, and I'm gonna share with you the second five element stretch, which is water. And the water element stretch stretches our kidneys and our bladder. And the kidney organ is said to be where our essence is, where our deepest seeds come from where our backup energy is. And sometimes if the kidneys get a little depleted, we might start to feel lower back pain. Also, the bladder channel, which is the longest channel of the body, runs along the whole back from the top of the head all the way down the back, along the back of the legs to the pinky toe. And it's good to check in if we start to feel things in these areas of the body, what is your relationship to water? Maybe drink more water, maybe go to a body of water, if you live near a body of water, or just soak in water, like a pool or a bath. So I'd like to share the water stretch to keep those organs and meridians vital. So I have a yoga bolster. If you have any sort of lower back pain, please sit on top of a bolster or a pillow. It just gives your lower back a little more support. I'm going to extend my legs forward. I also have a yoga strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a belt, a towel, or a scarf. I'm going to put my yoga strap around the ball bones of my feet and lift my chest up. For some, leaning back might be the best option. You're still going to get a nice stretch on the kidney and bladder channels. If you're a little more flexible, keep your heels on the floor and lean forward, pulling your elbows back, chest is open. 
If you're still a little more flexible, you can walk your hands down the strap and maybe you touch your toes. Just go to that variation that's best for you. And we're gonna breathe here together five breaths. Breathing one, two, three, four, five. With an inhale, lift your chest up and come back to seated. So if that was a good stretch for you, repeat it on this next round. If you're still looking for more stretch, set your strap to the side and slide off your bolster. Extend your legs forward, reach up towards the sky, inhale, and exhale, come over those legs, reaching for those feet. If this is not available, repeat option one. Five breaths, releasing the head, one. Shoulders down from the ears, two. Softening in the knees, three. Breathe into the back, four. Five. Next inhale, lift your chest up and come on up to see it. And that is the second element, water, for the kidney and the bladder. Enjoy the stretch. Hi, this is Cindy again for the third element stretch, which is wood. And the paired organs with the wood channel are the liver and the gallbladder. And the wood is our growing, our spring energy, where we grow from and expand. And just like a tree grows, sometimes if the, if the tree gets dry, it might need a little more water. So check in if you need to have a little more water. Another, if it's having a hard time growing, it might need a little more movement, a little more activity. The liver and the gallbladder in our bodies are our natural detox system. So that movement can just kind of shake things up and uh, invite for that growing to happen. So I'm going to share this wood stretch with you. I have a yoga bolster and you can sit on a pillow or another cushion if you have any lower back pain I want you to sit on top of something. We're going to take our legs a little bit wider than the hips. I also have my yoga strap. Again, you can use your towel, belt, or scarf, depending on your flexibility. We're going to start with the right side. Bring the strap around the ball mount of the right foot. So for some, you might just stay here and reach the left arm up. If you're a little more flexible, you can start to walk down that strap, going closer to the toes. And if you're able to, touch the toes. Most important, keep that left hip down. You'll lose the stretch if you lift the left hip up trying to get to the toes. So wherever you are, keeping both hips down to the floor. And if your neck is tight, look down to the right knee. We stay here for five breaths. Breathing one. Relaxing the shoulders. Two. Three. Four. Five. Lower your left hand down by the hip. Lift your chest up to seat it. We go to the other side. Strap can go around the ball mount of your left foot. Please stay at the option where you can still feel a stretch, but comfortably breathe without struggle. So option one is here. Option two is walking a little bit further down the strap, leaning over that left leg. Option three, if it's available comfortably, grab the toes. Press that right hip down to the floor and we breathe here. One, two, look down to the knee if your neck is tight. Three, four, five. Lower your right arm down by your hip, lift your chest up, come up to seat it. So that's to stretch the gallbladder to get the liver. You can stay on top of the bolster if you're a little more flexible, slide off. Hands are going to come on in the inside of your straddle. Some may just stay here and breathe. This is great. You can start to walk your hands forward. Most important is to not round the spine. If this is happening, walk your hands back in. Keep a nice, long, vital spine, chest lifted. If you're a little more flexible, you might start to lower down to your forearms. This is where you might want to bring your bolster or your pillow in front of you. And you can lay down on top of the bolster. You'll stay here for five breaths, whichever variation you're in. One, two, 
three, four, five. Lifting up through your chest, lift yourself up to seated. Another variation, if that caused any pain for your back or your lower back is tight, I want you to slide up against a wall. Scoot your hips into the wall and then swing your legs up the wall. You can get the same stretch by separating your legs along the wall. And just do this variation for five breaths. After five breaths, bring your hands to your outer legs. Close your legs together like a book. Bend your knees. Roll to one side. Lift yourself gently up to seated. And that is the third element wood for the liver and gallbladder. Enjoy the stretch. Hi, this is Cindy Houston. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to share with you the fourth of the five element stretches. If you've been following along, we've already done the metal, which is for the lung and large intestine, the bladder and kidney, which is our water element, and the wood, which is our liver and gallbladder. And today we're going to stretch the fire element, which is our heart, small intestine, pericardium, and triple heater, our four fires. Some of you know that I do practice Chinese medicine in my body work sessions. I work along the acupressure points and I also work along the meridians. What are meridians? They are energetic lines in the body. They run and move energy through our systems. They're paired with our organs. They're paired with our emotions. They're paired with the elements. And they're also paired with the seasons. The fire is the summer. It's the heat, the hottest time of the year. And it has the four connections. The heart, which is our emotional heart, our cardiovascular heart. It's the small intestine, which also helps us with our digestion. It also helps us with anything that's not moving, that's at a deeper level, emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally. We've got the pericardium. The pericardium is the heart protector. And sometimes we may feel guarded in things and the heart protector will activate. We don't want to overactivate it though, so stretching it is helpful. And then we have the triple heater, which is one of our backup fires along with the pericardium. And sometimes if we are exhausted or overworking, that pericard or that triple heater and pericardium can get a little tight. So I'm going to share a stretch with you that can help keep those meridians open. So I'm seated on a chair. You can sit on the floor to do this one in cross-legged position. What we're going to do is we're going to cross one arm over to the opposite leg, the other arm over to the opposite leg. Notice that my palms are facing up. There's two variations we're going to do. What I'm going to do with my knees, and you can come forward as much as you need to, I'm going to press my knees up against the hands until I feel a stretch. And you might feel a stretch along the shoulders, the neck, maybe even into the back a little bit. And this is for to stretch the pericardium and the triple heater. Stay here for about three to five breaths. Inhale, lift your chest up just to bring that arm that was in back in front. Do it again. Press your knees into the backs of the hands. Lift your chest. 
and stay here for about three to five breaths. Relaxing into it, inhale, lift up through a back bend and release the arms. Roll the shoulders, shake them out if you need to, shake out the arms. So to get the small intestine and the heart, all you're gonna do is flip the palms. Palms are facing in towards my legs now. I cross the arms, draw my knees in a little bit for space, and then I'm gonna press my knees up against my wrists. And now I feel that stretch along my outer arm to my pinky finger, getting into that small intestine and heart meridian. Three to five breaths, lift up the back into a back bend, switch whichever arm was in front and repeat. Knees together, press the knees into the wrists. Three to five breaths here. Make sure your back feels supported. Inhale, lift up through a back bend and you're up to seated. Hi, this is Cindy Houston. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm gonna to share with you the fifth of the five element stretches, the earth element. So far, if you've been following along, we've covered metal, which stretched our lung and large intestine, the water, which stretched our bladder and kidney, the wood, which stretched our liver and gallbladder, the fire, which stretched our heart, small intestine, pericardium, and triple heater. Today is the earth, our stomach and spleen. Some of you may know that I practice Chinese medicine in my body work sessions. I work with the acupressure points and the meridians. What are meridians? They are energetic lines that run through the body. They're paired with our organs. They're paired with our systems. They're paired with the elements. They're paired with our emotions. And the earth element that we're covering today is our stomach and spleen. And the stomach is our digestive system, our whole digestive system. And the spleen is our blood, how we process our blood, our quality of blood, uh, which can affect, both can affect our energy levels. So it's good to have a very vibrant stomach and spleen. If you know the chakra system, it's our third chakra area. So I'd love to share a stretch with you to help keep that vital. So I have some props behind me and I'm gonna show a modification. If you have yoga blocks at home, grab the yoga blocks. Two might be comfortable depending on your flexibility. If you have any sort of knee pain, grab two blocks. And you can see I have a folding chair and the legs are coming towards the blocks. And this is gonna be a support for my yoga bolster. And this variation is if you're flex, if you're not very flexible in the quads or if you've had some sort of knee pain, knee surgery, this is probably the option for you. And if not, it does just feel good. So I'll show two options. So if you're gonna use the props, I'm gonna have a seat on top of the blocks. Come down onto my shins. I want my knees to come together as much as they can and I'm going to sit on top of these blocks. I'm gonna move my calves out from underneath my hamstrings, reach down from my kneecaps and lift up my kneecaps. Right here, you might already start to feel a stretch. From there, grab your yoga bolster. Now the chair might not be in the best alignment for you to lay back, so you might need to do some adjusting. But I'm gonna bring that bolster behind me and I'm gonna put it right on those legs. Yeah, that bottom bar. And then I'm just gonna lean back. This feels pretty good. Stay here at least three to five breaths, longer if you've got it, or maybe you really need a stretch here. This is stretching out the stomach and the spleen. So we're getting that inner leg line, front and inner leg line from the top of the head, from the eyes, all the way down to the toes. And then to come out of it, 
You can use your hands to your feet. Maybe you reach back for the chair, come back in a back bend, and right up to seated. I'll share the variation if you're a little more flexible without the props. Setting the props to the side, just on your mat or the floor. You'll bring your knees together and sit down between your heels. Move the heels out from the hips. Stay here as long as there's no knee pain. Lift up the kneecaps. If you need a little more stretch, walk your hands behind your feet. Point your fingers towards your toes. Lift your chest up. If it doesn't feel good to release the neck, tuck your chin into your chest. Looking for more stretch, lower down onto your forearms. Keep bringing those knees together. Lift your chest up, tuck your tailbone, and maybe release the head back. If you feel you can go all the way, tuck your chin into your chest and reach your arms up overhead. You want to be able to breathe comfortably here and you want your knees to stay on the floor without any pain in the lower back. To come out of this, bring your hands to your feet, press into your forearms to the crown of your head, straighten your arms, come out of the back bend and tuck your chin into your chest up to seated, and I always like to just do a little foot tap, extension of the leg, to release any leg tightness. So that is the fifth element stretch for your stomach and spleen. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at cindy at cindyhouston.com or visit the website www.cindyhouston.com for more information. Enjoy the stretches. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.